welcome back to the channel my name is mahesh karia you guys are watching me on youtube now and in this session i'm going to take you through how to deploy your next js application on using uh, aws simplify so without wasting any time let's deep dive into it so you can directly search for aws simplify so a m p l i f y and you you can click here you will be greeted with uh, this page for the first time it's going to take time so you have bunch of new options now you can uh, directly click on host a uh, new web and you can use any your uh, github bitbucket gitlab uh, aws code commit or any other uh, deploy without git provider or you can go back you have another option which is build an app or uh, you can choose this build an app chain 2 this is the new feature entirely if you are planning to create something from very scratch just click here uh, click on next you can choose a bunch of options like view next next uh, whatever it may be you can name it whatever the repository name that you want to create inside your github so it's going to create like next uh, to amplify so it's going to uh, create this repository and it's uh, you just need to create save and deploy uh, it's going to take time but uh, if you go there inside your uh, git it's got, it's creating actually it's deploying an app inside your uh, inside there so see this is uh, really very really nice and now if you if you see in hosting you have a bunch of options if you go to access control you can see all the uh, all the uh, username password access settings branch name and you can have a dev and bunch of other branches you can set up uh, it's a kind of CICD pipeline you don't have to worry about anything else whatever like github actions you are already aware of this is the same yaml file we are using what whatever you have to do in um, like pre-build post build whatever you have to do you can just modify this download this or i did this it's all your choice environment variables like you can directly add here manage variables and do whatever the variables you want to add you can uh, add for specific branches secrets uh, same you can do this manage secrets and go there whatever the secrets you want for the specific branches you can do later you have a redirect like 404 you have like for now if i go back in here if i click here uh this this uh i haven't got yeah this one so this is the index.html page is coming which is uh, kind of 404 uh so this index.html uh which is uh, you can configure here according to your choice right and later the bunch of services are still not there it will be there but it's a production ready and uh, uh, you you can see here app name and bunch of uh, basic options are there you can delete app from here and repository settings of course you uh, can i'm not sure like rename or do something which is still looks like in a preview so we'll go back in all apps uh this is the previously i deployed this one because it's gonna take a while to deploy for the first time and if you click here this is my the previous one once it will deploy it will look like this then if you click here uh it's gonna this is your first uh, next year's app is deployed same goes with uh if you if you read the docs which will come from uh this link if you if you click here it's it's gonna open this uh, docs where you can read about what is the chain to developer experience of amplify uh this oh, sorry let me open this yeah amplify docs chain 2 so this is a code first approach okay aws amplify provides bunch of options for model for db and uh, that you can use it's all your choice it's not needed but uh, it's very easy to set up sqs sns queuing services uh, sns ses uh, for emailing notifications authentication uh, is we, you will get uh, using amplify and bunch of this stuff uh, which is really very easy to do so try this out this is super cool and if you if you uh, want to deploy something else you can you have a bunch of other options as well uh, this is not limited to any specific uh, uh, thing uh, so uh, github okay it's my shikaria this is this is what i i need to provide a permission right for i'm using ap south one uh, so all repositories yes install and authorize installing and authorize i'm not sure what it's gonna install but i i have authentication to uh, or to set up i'm not sure why but it's failing but yeah in your case it's not gonna fail so try this out do let me know inside comment box uh, like uh, 
how was your experience and definitely uh, it's gonna take around 10 minutes to uh, finish this thing manage sandbox you can click click here and uh, uh, you can all the deployments will be will come here oh, all the things status last updated and all whenever you hit uh, the new new if you go here in my this this how it will look like this resource and this is the folder structure you will get for the very first time which is uh, kind of boilerplate for your application okay and you can choose app router next year's 14 and stuff so nothing super complicated this is super simple so yeah i guess uh, thank you so much uh, for your time guys and uh, do let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed and see you soon in next video thank you